Welcome back to the Watchpoint Post Show, and I am so honored to introduce our guest returning here to the desk. We got Sleepy from the Washington Justice. Sleepy, what's up, my man? How you feeling? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? Good, good, man. I'm glad you're in good spirits after that last match, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I was worried. I, I was worried. I'm going to jump in real quick as well and say. <laughs> oh, good. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> but but I, I, I love that your team is so positive as well. After every map, you guys are actually always smiling and joking around. Yeah, you came, you guys you came off that map and, and Mark, you and Corey were all, all giggly. What's that about? <laughs> so, like, obviously with our record, like, we can't, like, expect, like, we can't be all upset after every loss. You know, we've lost, like, 13 times already, so... It's hard to, you know, be upset after every loss, and it's always just, I think it's better to end the day, you know, laughing and stuff. Even though yeah. we lost, it's, you know, it sucks, but I'd That's rather be happy laughing. and stuff, you know? No you know, need to mope about it. You know what? A lot of angsty people could take notes from that, man. Yeah. Positive mental attitude. I love it, man. You know, since you're talking a little bit about, you know, the kind of a tough year that Justice have been happening, having so far, what are some of the highlighting qualities or lessons that you've learned throughout the course of the season that you want to bring over to next year? Um, so I've definitely learned like quite a lot, especially compared to last season. Yeah. Uh, like even keeping a PMA after losing like that is definitely one thing I learned from last season because right. I would get pretty like upset over losses last season. Uh -huh. uh, so definitely keeping like a PMA over even tough situations and also providing a lot more leadership. Right. Uh, when I came to Justice, that's one thing I really wanted to do is just provide a lot more leadership for the team. Okay. So is that kind of the goal for the rest of the season is to kind of figure these things out? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say just figuring things out, knowing what works, what doesn't work, and improving as a team and as a player. Lovely, lovely. Anybody else have questions? Yes, I do. I think I am. Go next, ahead, actually. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead, Brent. Gotten. So you're, you're the new guy on the Washington Justice, right? Yeah, you've come in, swinging your fists around. Maybe not your fists. I don't know, your, your orbs. Uh, <laughs> don't look at I, me. <laughs> you're your own buddy. <laughs> but uh, you kind of answered my question anyway, which is going to be like, what do you feel like you as an individual bring to the team that's the most beneficial? Mm, I'd say just a lot more like, like helping Ark, especially in like the shot calling role, uh, giving a lot more direction, a lot more um, feedback in like team setting. Like even like after we lose a map, it's not just like, oh, we lost, go next. It's more like, oh, like why did we lose? I can help figure this stuff out because like, you know, I was under Krusty. I learned a lot from him as well yeah. and a lot that I wanted to bring over to this team so I can provide a lot more insight on that kind of stuff as nice. like why we're losing and a, 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 a well, second question to that as well is like outside of the game what do you think do you bring anything to the team to the justice are the jersey sales increasing sleep people's going on tell me about that uh I, i'd say outside of game i'm trying my best to like keep things like very positive uh -huh. like like i said about the even though losing still happy uh i'm trying to just Make sure everyone stays happy because sure. it's, it's, it's a long season. And oh, yeah. Not as long as last season, but it's still long and it's difficult when you're losing a lot. So making sure everyone's like not burning out, not tilting is like that is definitely right. like a high priority. Yeah, making sure people don't defeat themselves. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, you're on a mission buying ice cream for your team and everything. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. Um, now, since we just said that you can help like figure out what went wrong in the games, how much input do you as a player actually have in terms of game planning when you're preparing for your next match? Um, so you mean like just preparations for like the next game that we're going to have? Exactly. Um, not like a lot because obviously like that's not like on a player to necessarily know. It's more like we have to scout enemy. Like we have to watch their old VODs that, they get, that they've played, old maps that they've played. Uh, and just take notes on it. And when we do that, I like to, like, so when we are in match with them and we've taken those notes and stuff, I'll, I like to remind my team, like, oh, they like to do this. They like to, their Winston will jump here. Their, their Zen likes to flank here. Like, stuff like that is what I, I'll remind my team about it. But in, like, from, like, coaches is where we mostly learn a lot of that stuff. All right. So during half times, like, are your players pivoting a lot uh, in terms of, like, strategic insight? Or is it more the coaches kind of directing? Uh, mostly, like, Wizard and stuff will... <laughs> like say like what like what we're doing wrong where like they're like surprising us or where we're not reacting properly to and then we'll try to fix that and you know obviously do it better at the halftime. Uh, you mentioned Ark and you guys are both new to the team. Well, what's the process like of just trying to integrate to a new team and have you guys maybe bonded over the fact that you're both just brand new coming onto the team? Um, I don't find it like too difficult to like bond to new teammates because uh, I mean I've known some of these players since last season of course. I've right. known Corey since like before I watched League was a thing. So it wasn't like insanely difficult to fit in and like fit myself into like communications stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we definitely like, me and Ark have definitely bonded over like, you know, we both came from top teams and now we're on nah, a lower team, nah. but like we're <laughs> doing our best, like make things better, of course. Right. You mentioned Corey and like, we all think that maybe a DPS meta is brewing and coming. What's his best DPS hero? 
Widowmaker. And he will tell you that a hundred times out of ten. Oh, times we've out seen it. It looks good. Would yeah. that have me in a fight? He would, oh. he would actually it. dominate you, and then you wouldn't even be able to talk I to him. I've never loved yeah. anything more than Bren loves himself. <laughs> I, I would love to see if you no one day one no one else Corey. does it, he has. Bren loves that's, himself more than Kanye loves has. Kanye. We know this. We know this. Uh, so, Sleepy, uh, we were thinking about a certain Disney classic, and between you and Happy from the Guanjo Charge, we got two out of seven dwarves covered. So, a little birdie <laughs> told me that you actually assigned the other five. Is that true? Yeah, I did. You did? All right. <laughs> Dope. All right, so uh, then is that tell like a me. hobby of yours? <laughs> who, who would you say is the doc of the league? So for doc, the person I could relate the most to it was probably Ryu Jae-hong from Seoul Dynasty. Ryu Jae-hong. Yeah. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> With the glasses on. So, oh, man. Is doc supposed to be the old one? No, he's more like, he's just like a, a leader, you know? Mm, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, leading so the that's pack. why I put Jae-hong as for All doc. Right. What about Grumpy? Grumpy? Who's Grumpy? I'm pretty sure that was super. I put super for this one. Oh, man. <laughs> super Grumpy? Yeah, yeah, super. <laughs> we don't take that seriously. That's corny. We don't take that seriously. Yeah. So I, I put super here because, uh, you know, he's he's very wholesome at heart, but uh, on the surface, he's just complains a lot, oh, whines a lot. Yeah. <laughs> very toxic. Very toxic. Especially yeah, yeah. if you play Sombra, right? All right, how about Bashful? Mm, bashful, I put OG. And OG. I, yeah. Uh -huh. OG was one of my good friends. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good look for him, man. It's a really good look for him. All right. Uh, this one is a bit tough. Who did you pick for Sneezy? So I wasn't able to, like, draw it down to anyone specific, but I ended up putting Muma for Sneezy. Muma? Only because I know he posted on Twitter after his win over Shock that he was, like, really sick during the match. Oh, okay. That makes, that makes sense. Only main tanks so far, and I'm including Ryu Jae Hong due to a certain stage. We don't, we don't <laughs> talk about. Ryu Jae Hong. Yeah, I, I remember that. Uh, okay, well, last but not least, what about Dopey? That one's easy, Dante. <laughs> Dante? Oh, yeah. Wait, but why? Why Dante? Just, you know, he's a little, a little slower, a little, maybe a little dumb. <laughs> he might Whoa. be kind of dumb at times, but I love him. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I've heard some rumors about Dante. And, uh, oh yeah. How he just like he can only live off microwave food. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's true. The, the players are tweeting this on a regular basis. This is me throwing shade. This is this is out there. If you search for the facts, it's out there. It's okay. there. That, that's wild. I, I never knew that. Fun fact. All right. Well, let's look at all seven of the dwarfs all together in glorious harmony. That's them all. Oh, it's beautiful. So, I like how so they're beautiful. all character traits and then sneezy. Does like, <laughs> <laughs> being sneezy a personality trait? I don't I, I never got it. I never understood it. I never understood. All right.